Good morning, Spartans. I'm Alexander Zavala. And I'm Brianna Munoz. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Spartan, Spartan TV. TV. Spartans, as we celebrate Spirit Week, today is Scarecrow versus Farmer Day. We didn't want to lag on showing our school spirit, so here we are. Are you going to the football game just like that, Alex? You know it, sis. Oh no, sis. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> not feeling it, huh? You know what I noticed, Brianna? What? You seniors seem to really not be feeling it and getting lazy. I get it's your last year, but sheesh, you're missing a lot of school. Shoot, you're lucky I even made it here today. Hopefully I don't break my contract. <laughs> Hi, my name is Isaiah. Hi, my name is Brianna Munoz. My name is Rafael Cardenas, and I am a senior here at Hills High School. My senior year has been a okay. It's kind of been stressful dealing with all the senior projects and all the stuff going on in senior center more. Then we have economics. It's just a mess right now. Compared to my junior year, I'd say it's more like back. I get less homework than I did junior year but it's like right at the beginning of the year, so. Uh, lazy, competitive, determined, strong. Uh, to me, senior, I used to be a uh, senior was being lazy and not putting as, as much effort into it, into the work that they put in. That's what I think senior itis is. Senior itis, I think, it's like giving up, basically. <laughs> like being laid back in all your classes, not doing work. Yeah. Just treat it like another year. We're about to finish, you know, push through fourth quarter. Stay on track with all your homework because, you know, you don't want to fill a class because that will become a risk for you not graduating. How they can take this year seriously, think of it as, a, as whatever you do here is basically a key and gateway to graduate and attempting to go to college in some aspects. Maybe you should reconsider coming to school, as SATs are coming up. Yeah, you're right. Spartans, don't forget that next Wednesday, October 16th, is our school testing day, so a minimum day will be switched to Friday. Wow, SATs are really coming up quick. <clears throat> you seniors, <clears throat> Brianna, should totally consider coming to school every day. <laughs> wow, the shade. You make me sound so bad. I haven't missed too many days. I'm just, I'm just ready to graduate. I get you. But just in case, don't forget that Saturday school is tomorrow. Here's your chance to make up absences and maybe even catch up on work. Then, at night, you don't want to miss the homecoming dance. If it's anything like last year's, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Hope you got your tickets. Speaking of homecoming, today's the homecoming game at 7 p.m. It's also where our homecoming queen will be announced, so you don't want to miss it. Here's a glance of what went down in Spartan football last Friday against Rialto. That looks fun, and we won again. Yeah, Spartans kicking butt. Which reminds me, let's take a moment to give a shout out to all of you who participated in the Dodgers Foundation 5K run last week. We appreciate you guys very much for representing, and especially for doing it for charity. Speaking of appreciation, our band had their first competition at Cal High and came in second. Color Guard did too, and if that wasn't enough, our percussion won first place for the first time in school history. What an achievement for our fantastic band. That's great. Congratulations, Spartans. You know who else is doing a great job? Our new principal. Yes, and Spartan TV's Edgar Aguilar had a chance to sit down and interview Miss Levante. Here's a short clip from the interview. Let's get to know our amazing new principal. Uh, what made you into the woman that you are today that's so like, positive, always on time, and just what made you the person that everyone just looks up to? Oh gosh, um, you know, a couple things come to mind. Um, of course, my parents. Uh, my dad was a Marine, 
and you know I was very afraid of my dad but they also made sure that dinner was always together um, so we kind of had a strong foundation of we had our assigned seats at our dinner table where my brothers were sitting together and I sat by myself so I felt you know super special and then mom and dad were always there but always talking to us about doing the right thing about making sure you're on time you know my mom would be the one that when a party would start we were there 10 minutes early um, just making sure that we had those morals and values instilled in us and I, I bring that with me even today and I think just from some of the tragedies like losing my dad at a, at a fairly young age um, I always wanted him to be proud of me and so I always strive to do what's best um, you know and I think you run into people as time goes on and you just say I either want to be like that or I'm never going to be like that so I've always kept those lessons I guess in my head and I always push forward um, and you know, I think everyone knows I'm very competitive and um, having two brothers, you have to be competitive. And so I tried to be um, better and stronger and faster and everything else, um, especially around my dad when he was still alive because when he would say I needed something, I would go get it faster than my brothers would. So I'd be the golden child and they wouldn't be. So I have not lost that competitive edge, but definitely my parents um, really made sure that they pushed me and I pushed myself to make them proud. Well, I'm sure that both of your parents are very proud of you. You really did do a lot of great things. Well, I, I continue to work with great people, and I'm around great people. So, like I said, the energy I love, you know, we're, we're going to continue to push forward and be the, the Spartans that we know and love. Wow, that interview sure gave us some insight into our mind of our fearless leader. You can catch the full interview on our YouTube channel. Just look at the user down below, and don't forget to subscribe now. We have Lomo Ferrito in the studio to tell us about an important issue. Hi guys. Cyberbullying happens more often than we know to more people than we think. Check this out. every student to have an amazing day and if anything bad goes on everyone should feel safe to speak to admin teachers or their best friends it helps us to know that we're not alone with that said back to you guys thank you Lamo. and just know that Brian and I are always here for you if you need anything thanks guys yeah we got your back Lamo. if you have you have us and many other nice Spartans you can feel free to talk to at any time speaking of friends to talk to our ASB family has a bunch of new merchandise in the student store let's take a look Look how good the prices are for the merch. Spartans, stop by the ASB store and show your school spirit. Well, Spartans, that's going to do it for us this week. Stick around for our first quarter PBIS celebration highlights. I'm Brianna Munoz. And I'm Alexander Zavala. Make, Make it, it a great, great day, Spartans. Spartans. You, you deserve, deserve it. it.